This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Chesterfield County. More specifically, I'm off the Hall Street Road corridor. Today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath home. This home is located here on an absolutely amazing street. Uh, I'm not going to say much about it because the pictures speak for themselves. The subject of property today is a corner lot. We are right here with amazing curb appeal. Special thanks to Shashila in our office, her listing. She was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look. Uh, I also had the privilege not too long ago of doing her corporate branding images. And uh, she is truly a big, big asset to United Real Estate. She does and handles our training. And uh, she is an amazing broker manager. Okay, this home is built in 1996, and uh, there are just so many things to love about this home. Uh, we are now walking on an aggregate driveway. Uh, as you can see straight ahead, there's plenty of parking up here, in addition to the two-car side entry garage. There's also a pedestrian door on the side, uh, so if you had extra vehicles, you could park your fleet here and uh, still leave room for additional vehicles in the garage. Our condition here is amazing. And uh, look at the condition of the backyard. You know, most people pay a lot of attention to the front yard, but wait till you get back here in the back. This is uh, like a park-like setting and uh, the care is truly apparent on this home. One of the other things I love about it is our deck. You can see our deck is probably a good 45 or 50 feet. You could virtually have the whole subdivision over have a get together and still have additional room. We're going to actually go on the deck uh, when we go inside, but I wanted you to see it here from the rear. This lot does have really good privacy here to the rear as well. Uh, there's nobody that's backing right up to you. And we've got a nice buffer between it and the home next door. Very nice presentation. I have the, the birds chirping and uh, just a very peaceful, tranquil setting. You can see the lot goes on there through uh, that area. This home does have dual zone heating and air. Of course, once we start getting into this size range, uh, it's extremely important to have multiple zones uh, just because there's so much square footage to heat and cool. Look at this wraparound porch. Uh, not only do you have the ability to put a bunch of chairs here, you also have a ceiling fan in place, actually two ceiling fans in place to circulate a little air on a beautiful summer day. Imagine sitting there sipping some sweet tea, uh, perhaps a nice Merlot, or even a golden 40 ounce beverage of your choice. Um, we don't discriminate. I know everyone is at a different place in life, but uh, you could really enjoy some nice, quiet conversation here in a beautiful home like this, right here on the front porch. I'm gonna give you a shot here so you can see exactly what you'd be looking at. Love the landscaping, it's all very nicely done as well. All right, let's go on in and take a look, see what we have in store. Okay, if there was one word I've used to describe this home, it is details, details, details. We have an enormous amount of details here uh, in this beautiful home. Uh, this, of course, is set up as our home office. So this is perfect because you're right here at the front uh, look here at the floor. You've got a beautiful inlay design. And these are things that a builder uh, will charge extra for uh, in new construction. So they're already done for you here uh, in this beautiful home. All right, directly across the foyer is our formal dining room. And we have chair rail crown molding, nice tray ceiling, plenty of window light into this room. And once again, we have that inlaid wood floor. Directly ahead is going to be passage into our nice custom kitchen. Uh, here to the left, we can see we've got 42 inch cabinets, beautiful detail there in the trim. Our wall oven, dual wall oven, beautiful tile backsplash, double bowl sink, some additional storage here in the island and just loads and loads of cabinet space.
Here to the rear of the home, we've got plenty of space there for your informal dining. Look at this. This is not a feature that you typically will see in an informal dining space. That is amazing. I just love what they have done here with the finishing touches and details in this home. Of course, you've got space there at the bar. You probably get a half dozen toddlers right there. And let's transition now into our two story family room. All right, looks like we've got some cherry floors. Nice volume here in this two story family room. Ceiling fan uh, here to the left. That's going to be a gas log fireplace. We have dual doors taking us out to the back deck. Let's pop out and see what we have in store. All right, look at the railing here. It's not just normal. You normally see wood pickets. Uh, they've got nice metal pickets here. Uh, just really nice presentation. That's the other door uh, there. Actually, there's two doors down there. Uh, the one right there in the middle of the frame is on the other side of the family room. Exterior is in great condition. All right, let's go back inside. And I didn't mention that we have that walkway directly across. I love this floor plan. Uh, that is just a dramatic feel here in this uh, family room. This is going to be a powder room right here. And to my left is going to be the primary bedroom. But before we go there, we're actually going to go here to our garage. Our garage is a two car garage with side entry. And we do have a central vac system here in this garage. There is an opener and our pedestrian door directly ahead. That is the vac system that I mentioned earlier. So there are going to be outlets throughout the home where you can actually plug a hose into it. And then all of the dirt from your central back comes to that canister. To the right is going to be our dedicated laundry room. This uh, laundry room, look at the storage. You've got 42 inch cabinets, both on the right and on the rear of the laundry room. Folding table and a utility sink. That is in addition to our washer and dryer. To the right is going to be our primary bedroom. And you can see it is extremely large. We do have our tray ceiling. Nice ceiling fan. Plenty of light, of course, comes through not only this door, but also the window here as well. So you could actually leave from the primary bedroom and pop out onto the deck, which is always a nice feature. Okay, we're now going to take a look at our primary bath. All right, we have a great floor plan here. Our stand-up shower directly ahead, and that is going to be vanity number one with a makeup table. Our jetted tub, we've got a window right there over the tub. The blinds are currently closed. And then vanity number two right there. Our water closet is directly in the middle of the frame. And we have a walk-in closet as well. Uh, we love when we see these walk-in closets in the actual bathroom because then that frees up an additional wall uh, or door in the bedroom. And of course, it just makes so much sense if you're going to uh, take a bath or a shower and then grab your clothes. Uh, the clothes are already here and that just makes it so much easier. Okay, let's see what our second level of this beautiful home has in store. Oh, I almost forgot. We have a stand-up shower here. We're going to take a quick peek in here. Got the nice glass frameless door. Beautiful gray and white tile. And then we have a bench there at the rear. Nicely done. Nicely done. Notice the crown molding all the way here 
in this bathroom as well. Some really nice touches. All right, let's go up to the second level and see what is up there. I have a loyal viewer, Luis. Luis has been asking for a big boy home. Luis, I hope you enjoy this tour. We've got wood stairs here with a carpet runner. And notice here on the second level, we also have wood floors here in the hallway, which is a nice upgrade. Great bird's eye view here of the family room. And that is going to be our upstairs primary bedroom. But first, we're going to start here on this side. We have a linen closet right here. Directly across the hall is going to be a very unusual cedar closet. We have a cedar closet in the hallway. And this is great if you have items close here that you don't want to use. They're out of season. Cedar is a great way to protect them from moths. And uh, that's the reason they use cedar in closets like that. This is bedroom number two. As you can see, very good sized bedroom. We could definitely get a king in here with no problem. I'm not going to open every single closet, but this one is extra deep. This is actually a walk-in if you can see it down there. So we've got really good closet space here in this beautiful home. The carpets are well maintained. They look very good. And then this is a room off of this bedroom. So you could actually use this if you wanted to make it a sitting room for this bedroom or another office or playroom. Uh, there's just so many options. Since we have to go through this room to get to it, uh, it's not considered a bedroom, but definitely very useful space nonetheless. This is going to be a Jack and Jill bathroom. And it's a unique design because we have the sink there, of course, with plenty of cabinetry tile on the floor. And then here to the right is going to be a water closet and also our tile, the tub shower area uh, right here. It's a very smart design. And then we're going to continue over to our third bedroom, which is right here. We've got a nice size closet there on this wall. And this is a unique feature. We've got a little sitting area here. So uh, as you can see, they've got a, a chair, a, a coffee table, and then an ottoman. So you could just sit here, relax, read a book, and uh, don't have to go all the way downstairs if you just wanted to get out of the bedroom. All right, this is going to be upstairs on with an ensuite this is great if you had a multi-generational family and uh you had two parties that needed a large bedroom this would definitely suffice and look at this closet this is amazing not only do we have the closet here but this is a door this is going to take us up to an unfinished attic and uh, so we've got some personal property up there so we're not going to go up uh, but you can of course see uh, that we've got some additional space uh, in that attic very well thought out floor plan and design here in this home to the left is going to be a, another closet so we've got two closets here in this bedroom and our ensuite is right here to the right here in the ensuite we do have a linen closet and then to the left is going to be of course the rest of our bathroom if you heard long pauses earlier, I'm getting over a cold. And uh, of course, as soon as I started taping, uh, the coughing started and uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, but uh, we're going to keep it moving. You guys know that I love bringing you these videos and there are very few things uh, that would stop me. Special shout out to uh, Asiana and Jean Tay. I, I hope I got the names right. Uh, I met them at a bakery cafe. Just a couple days ago, they uh, approached me and said, are you Max Williams? And, and people approach me and they are always kind of timid when they do so, like they don't know uh, whether or not it's me or not. And um, so I really appreciate them uh, speaking up and also watching. I have so many uh, people that support me here in this area and I truly appreciate you watching and your feedback and your referrals. We live off of referrals. So if there's somebody that you know that has real estate needs, I would love to work with them. 
I'm especially gentle with first time buyers. That's kind of one of my specialties. And um, we also work with sellers as well, very effectively. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. It can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.